Topic of this blog. Stepper Motors Driver A4988 Current Setup. Stepper motor drivers such as A4988 differ from conventional H-bridges, or in other words collector motor drivers such as L298, in the possibility of automatic current stabilization, as well as automatic generation of control signals to the stepper motor windings to rotate or hold the rotor. If you compare the block diagrams of the microcircuits of these drivers, you will understand that they are as similar as a combat aircraft and a corncob. The H-bridge simply works as a current and voltage amplifier, while the stepper motor driver takes care of a lot of logic and generates near-ideal pulse width modulation signals with current feedback through the motor windings and others on its internal H-bridges. Watch the video to the end and find out what current values the driver holds on the motor windings at each microstep. I would be grateful if you subscribe and like. Let's go further. Stabilization of the current through the windings is necessary when working with high-speed low-resistance motors. And these include most of the popular steppers. These are put on 3D printers and CNC machines. Current stabilization significantly improves the dynamic characteristics of the motor, limits the overheating of the coils in the driver, and also allows you to expand the range of supply voltages without affecting the rotor speed. Stabilization in stepper motor drivers is based on the principle of pulse width modulation PWM and is controlled by PID controller. The stabilization current in most drivers is set manually using a tuning resistor. But there are also drivers in which the current can be changed by commands from the control controller. As part of this lesson, we will set the desired stabilization current for the A4988 driver using a trimmer resistor. Judging by the electrical circuit of the board of this driver, the measuring resistors RSC take part in holding the current, as well as the resistors connected to the VRF pin. These are R5 and variable R9. There are two RSC resistors, one for each motor coil. They make it possible to measure value of the current by the voltage drop across them. And the resistors R5 and R9 act as a voltage divider and form a given voltage for comparison with the potentials on the measuring resistors. There is a simple formula for calculating a given voltage, according to the required current supplied to the motor. The rated current of the motor and the resistance of one measuring resistor are substituted into it. On my board there are large resistors marked R100, which corresponds to a resistance of 0.1 ohms. For the A4988 board and 1.7 amperes motor, the maximum voltage VREF equals 1.36 volts. Moreover, on all thematic sites it is recommended to set the current percentage to 30% less than the maximum. That is, we will obey and set the specified voltage on our experimental driver, close to 0.95 V. To adjust the current, you need a 5 volts voltage source, for this I will take the Arduino Nano Controller. You will also need a voltmeter and a small screwdriver. First, we connect the common wire of the Arduino Nano to the common driver and plus 5 volts to the power output of the driver logic called VDD. We power the Arduino and measure the voltage between the common wire and the tuning resistor engine with a voltmeter. Further, Twisting this engine with a screwdriver, we achieve the desired voltage of 0.95 volts. I also check this value without contact of the hand with the metal part of the screwdriver because the hand can act on the measured electrical circuit. We are great. We learned how to set the maximum specified current on the A4988 driver. When setting up, it is not necessary to supply voltage to the motor, but only for the logic to work. If you need the maximum torque from the engine, then set the current to the operating maximum but sometimes the engine requires a gentle force for the safety of the equipment so that it cannot tear and break everything in its path in case of failures in the mechanics. Then we divert the current with a trimmer a little down testing his effort in practice. If the voltage does not change when the resistor slider rotates, then the driver chip seems to be out of order. And, if everything worked out, you can proceed to further work with the driver, 
using the remaining outputs and connecting the power to the engine. Now the promised story about what current values the driver stabilizes at specific microsteps. We open the documentation and find the graphs of the current that the driver puts on both coils at different moments of steps and microsteps. The first graph shows the theoretical operation of the driver in full step mode, that is, without microsteps. Here you can see that the amplitude is 71% of the current we set. This means that the driver in full step mode will try to keep the current not set by us, but 71% of it. Perhaps this is done to minimize current surges in transients. And the second and subsequent charts are more optimistic. They show theoretical motor control graphs with microsteps, and here, due to the greater smoothness of transients, the current already reaches 100%. That is, it is equal to our set value with a screwdriver. Let's analyze the second graph in more detail. This is an illustration of half step mode. In it, the driver turns the motor rotor by one step when two pulses from the controller arrive at the step input. One step equals two impulses. On the graph, when the first pulse arrives at the first winding, the task is zero amperes, and the second minus 100% of the one set by us. When the second pulse arrives through the first winding, 70% of the set current is stabilized, and through the second 70%. And so on. In this cunning way, a current sine wave is simulated for smooth motor control, which helps to minimize parasitic current surges and reduce motor vibration. And in all these graphs, the value of the maximum current set by us is taken as the basis. So its Archie setting is important for your projects. Also here in the instructions, read the rest of the charts for microsteps. More precisely, the current values will be found in the table to the right. All the secrets of each microstep are revealed there. I hope this video was helpful to you. Write in the comments what other topics to cover next time. Thank you for your attention.